He joins us again now. David McBride, thank you very much for joining us. Um, let's start with your own situation, if we may, because many of our viewers are very keen to know uh, how the persecution of you currently stands. It's still going ahead. I'm facing trial in September uh, and a jury trial probably in 2023. We are making significant inroads. Uh, I've got a documentary about my life coming out quite soon, which I think will help build support. And uh, there is a big defamation case going on where one of the soldiers accused of war crimes ended up suing the newspapers and uh, for calling him a war criminal. But now about 20 witnesses have come in and said he's a war criminal. Whether he is or not, I don't know. But uh, it looks like he's going to lose that case. And that will be, um, if he does, that will be an important advantage for me because it will increasingly the noose will be tightening around the government's neck to say, how come you've got this guy on trial, a bit like Julian Assange's case, when everything he said was true? Do you not like truth? Uh, do you not like being exposed? What is the problem? Is it simply because he embarrassed the government? It is a very powerful argument. I, I pray to God that it uh, prevails. Uh, but, of course, uh, the precedent of uh, Julian Assange and Stephen Donziger is not great, uh, despite my thinking that the Australian government would be very foolish indeed to proceed with a trial against you. Uh, the precedent of Julian and Stephen is that even when it's very foolish, they continue to do very foolish things. Yes, and that's what I'm relying on to a certain extent. Uh, it's a bit like the bully in the playground. I mean, the way to um, counterintuitive, but the way, to, as we all know, and, and as you did to the Americans back in 2003, the way uh, to deal with a bully is to confront them because they don't think like you or me. And we wouldn't be in such a bad situation if the way our governments act is not so devoid, so completely different to the way you and I act. They will probably almost certainly continue on with my trial to the very bitter end in the same way that this soldier sued for defamation, even though it was a bad thing to do. We had another politician who sued for defamation over some serious allegations and again it blew up in his face. And you would have thought any rational person would have said, don't go there, you've got so many skeletons in your closet, but they don't think like that. And the government, they may drop the case on the court steps because they will be very worried about generals having to come in without their spin doctors, without their friendly newspaper editors, and actually answer the very hard question, did you know about the war crimes? And if not, how is that not incompetence? And if so, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now, uh, everyone watching will wish you uh, well in your case. How can people help you? How can they stay in touch with what's happening on the case? I have a, a Twitter account. I have uh, a, a website, davidmcbride.com.au. I have a GoFundMe uh, for anyone that's got it to throw the price of a cup of coffee. Everyone's doing it tough. But a small amount, uh, which is called uh, 50 years in prison for whistleblowing on the ADF. So I'd be very grateful. And, and, and messages of support can be sent there too. But I always love... Uh, On your program. I know your viewers uh, know what's really going on in the world, and uh, it's always great to see you. You're, you're right. This is the, the best educated television audience in the whole world. They're not students at the Open University of the Airwaves for nothing. David, 
as I've got you here, let me ask you something that doesn't really compute with me. I see Australia almost daily threatening China on behalf of a power at the other end of the world, whilst China is your neighbor. And, and Australia is not remotely in a position to fight China. China is your major trading partner. Why has this Australian government allowed itself to be a kind of cat's paw against China? What, what's going on there? Look, I totally agree, George. It is, it is embarrassing for me as an Australian. Uh, and my grandparents and parents would be ashamed too. We fought to keep Australia independent. We are now a, a totally owned subsidiary of the United States. There is no Australia as far as foreign uh, affairs goes anymore. We joined the war in Afghanistan on exactly the same day as the Americans. We left the war in Afghanistan on exactly the same day as the Americans. The funny thing is they still maintain some sort of facade of independence. It's a joke. We, we, are, we are not independent of, of the US anymore. It's very apparent in relation to China. It was only about three years ago that we were, as you said, had very close relations with China. Chinese naval ships sailed into Sydney Harbour and docked at our naval... They docked at our naval you know, docks. Uh, nothing major has changed since then, except the Americans, Pompeo and his buddies, have told us we have to hate China. So now we hate China because we've been told to. And even though it was, it was crazy for us because they were our biggest trading uh, partner and they suddenly went to being an enemy. And it's all right for the Americans because they're the Americans' natural trading enemy. But they were in our natural trading partner. And this is why our government has sold our people down the river. We have lost so many trading opportunities with China and for what? To make the Americans happy. And no one kind of thinks about it. The point of American foreign policy is to make America richer. It's not to make Australia richer. Uh, and yet our politicians haven't cottoned on to that or perhaps even more sinister, so nefarious as American influence in Australia that um, a bit like a lot of other uh, smaller countries around the world, you cannot get elected as a leader unless the American intelligence organisation give you the, uh, the thumbs up. And that's quite a scary thing. I mean, to think that we, our, our own leaders, and there's been allegations of this, have to be approved by the Americans, otherwise they're gone. Now that's, it's almost, I mean, uh, <laughs> almost, uh, almost incredible, almost impossible to believe. If it wasn't coming from you, uh, I wouldn't believe it. Major McBride, thanks for joining us once again.